Hey, what's going on guys? Drop Shot Pete here. I wanted to do a quick catch and cook video. Unfortunately, um, it was a long day and then we uh, fished all throughout the evening and into the morning. So we didn't have time or didn't get a lot of camera hooked up. It was pretty windy, pretty tough conditions as far as uh, fishing conditions were going off the beach. Uh, we were trying to catch some red drum, um, but unfortunately we weren't able to hook a bunny, but we caught a bunch of uh, other types of species of fish, multi-species, uh, whiting, uh, spot, uh, spot croaker, um, black drum, and uh, various other fishes, pompano. Uh, but we were able to hook up on uh, two summer flukes, uh, which Maryland DNR states minimum regulation is 16 and a half inches. Uh, both of Lars measured at 17. Um, I also caught a nice size pompano. However, I didn't see any of the uh, regulations where uh, for pompano in the Maryland DNR uh, creel limit page for Atlantic Ocean. But it was pretty thick, so I wanted to try it. I've heard good things about it. So, um, you know, I go ahead and harvest it and uh, fillet it, and uh, we're going to do a little catch and cook. So uh, stand by. Here we have our uh, fillets out of the bag and we want to get a towel and just uh, pat off the ex extra moistness from the uh, fish. Let it chill overnight in the refrigerator. Let the meat get uh, kind of more dense when you refrigerate it so that it won't be as mushy. Once you get it pat off, let's cut them into pieces and let's get the seasoning and get the cooking. So I go ahead and um, I cut them into halves and I put the other two in halves and put them in the bags and get that coated up. So these are the ones I'm going to cook with just salt, pepper, maybe a garlic powder and some butter. Here's the uh, pompano, you can see the size of this light coating and then there's the ones we're going to season also with uh, a little bit of uh, sea salt, uh, pepper and a little bit of garlic. And here's the flounder that I cut in little pieces. Uh, and there is going to be that light bread in mix. All right, let's go. All right, we're going to just season it lightly with a little Himalayan sea salt. Just a little bit. Flip each side over. Here's the pompano, I'm just going to put it in the bag, shake it, and here's the uh, Two pieces with a little saute and season. Let that melt, let it get hot, and start frying. All right, looks like the butter's melting. We don't want it to brown too quick, so let's go ahead and try the uh, pompano. Lay it in there, very nice. Another piece of pompano here. Lay it down in there nice, let's sizzle. Let's get some flounder. Lay it in there nice. I'm cooking that goodness, that buttery goodness. Let's see if this last piece join in here. And there we go. Look at that. Sauteing in a little butter. That's awesome. Sauteing very nicely. You can see that the uh, flounder is starting to 
cook on the outside. It's like the pompano is already gonna cook. Start to turn white. Yeah, something good, looking good. Here we go. We just uh, flip it over. Looking mighty nice, looking mighty nice. All right, make sure you have a nice uh, fish, fish spatula. Helps you flip over the fish without uh, damaging it with a regular spatula. So, you flip in the pompano, you flip over the flounder. Wow, sorry, get a little flaky. Beautiful white meat. Show you guys here in a minute. Looking real good, looking real good. Now I don't have any lemons, so I got the old uh, lemon juice in a jar, a little lemon jar. Put a little lemon juice on the these fillets right here. Good. And there we go. Looking real nice now. Look at that sizzle. You can see it's cooking real nice. It's a very delicate white fish. If I see the, uh, the flounder starting to break apart already, so I gotta be real careful and uh, keep it from sticking to the bottom of the pan. And uh, it's like you pop it out, it's actually holding up pretty good. So uh, we'll give it a couple more minutes. Go. Pompano. Get the pompano together on the side there. Flounder action there. Flounder action there. Flounder action right there. And there you go. Let's go. Go cooking up real nice here. All right, I just flipped it. Looks like it's got a little light coating on the side. Kind of be very careful. It's still very delicate, and the starting to, pieces starting to fall apart. But uh, here's the uh, the pompano, and then here is the uh, flounder with a coating on it. Here they are uh, flipped one more time. You can see they're cooking up crisp up really nice. So hopefully uh, they'll be done soon and uh, we'll give, give a uh, nice taste, little taste test. So we have here the just sauteed with no coating, a little bit of sea salt and a little bit of um, pepper, ground pepper, freshly ground pepper, sauteed in a pan with butter. Here's the, um, here's the flounder. And here is the pompano. Then over here with the light bread coating, the fish fry coating that you guys saw, here is the flounder. And here's the pompano. Let's go ahead and give it a taste test. A little taste test here. So here we have the, uh, the pompano, just pan fried, butter sauteed in uh, with uh, sea salt and uh, pepper. Let's give that a taste. Hmm. Very meaty. Um, it doesn't even taste fishy at all. It's almost like chicken. Chicken to see. Wow, that was really good. All right. Let's try a little bit of the flounder. Here we go. Just, again, sautéed uh, sea salt, a little pepper, sautéed in butter. A little flounder action here. Here we go. Little bone. Mmm. Very good. Firm white meat. Mmm, but it's thick. Almost meaty again. Very, very meaty. Doesn't taste fishy at all. Very clean. Wow. That was good. Alright. Let's try the, um, the, um, uh, Cody. All right, here we go. Here's the uh, pompano. All right, as you can see. Pretty nice, let's give that a try. Not bad. Pretty good. And, you know, anything fried, a little crispy uh, coating outside is very good also, so. Let's go ahead and try the flounder. As you can see it's already starting to fall apart here. 
All right, really nice, really flaky. Let's uh, give it a shot. Mm. Broke up on me. Mmm. Again, no fishy taste. Um, really, really good flavor. Definitely thick and meaty. Kind of got like a meat texture to it. Um, anything's good fried, um, but today I think to me the uh, the coating took a little way away from the natural flavor. Um, I think I prefer the uh, the sautéed in a, in a pan with just a little bit of sea salt, a little bit of ground pepper, a little bit of butter. Uh, both Pompano and um, Flounder were uh, definitely the winner today. Hey guys, uh, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. I like to do catch and cooks a lot. Um, please like and subscribe to, this, uh, to the channel. Uh, Drop Shot Pete also, if you want my uh, cooking channel, Short Order Pete. Uh, like and subscribe there also. Please hit the notification bell for future videos. Uh, and please leave a comment uh, in the uh, comment section if uh, you'd like to see me do any other catch and cooks. All right, take care, be well, and be nice to each other. So long.